We have to remember that a lot of times. You know, I love the that, you know, hey, Nipsey Hustle business model or what well, not business model. Business model was centered around this thing of a marathon because I wholeheartedly understand what that means now. You know, he talk a lot about the symbolization of, of running at your own pace and also not sprinting. Um I personally know what that process is now and I'm glad that I know what that process is because life is truly a marathon. We go through ups and downs, we go through roller coasters, we go through serving many journeys, but we all have our own pace. There were twenty three other twenty three thousand other people out there around me, but we all had different start times, we all had different finish times. The only thing that willed me through was the understanding that I can't compete with this person that's to the left of me. I can't compete with this person to the right of me. I can't compete with this person that's in front of me because while I may have trained for 18 weeks, they have may have been training for 52 weeks. This person may have been training for three weeks, but they may have just completed a marathon uh, two months ago, wherever the case may be. I don't know what everybody's background is. I don't know what everybody's threshold is in terms of pain. I don't know how good of runners everybody is, but had I had tried to compete with these people, I would have psyched myself out. I probably would have got out too fast running at somebody else's pace and I wouldn't have been able to complete the course. The reason why I was able to complete the course is because through my training, I learned what my pace was. I learned what the ideal pace was. I learned what my race was and I wasn't racing against anyone else. I was racing against myself. And while I was racing against myself, I had to continue to keep my mind on what that pace was or what the that race, I had to imagine what that race looked like. I had to imagine, okay, as I'm starting out, run at this pace so that by the time you get to this mile, you can pick it up a little or maybe dial it back a little or you can just do a check on your body to know which one you have to do, dial it up or, or, or dial it down. Um, once you find your pace, it's such a beautiful thing and like those first six miles of the ride didn't even feel like it was six miles because I had gotten in such a good groove at the mile two that I was just coasting. I was just floating. And that's the beauty of running in your pace. And you have to remember that in life as well. You can't compete with the person next to you. You can't compete with the person behind you. You can't compete with the person down the street. You can't compete with your best friends or relatives, the case it may be, because we all go through different things in life. We all have different aspirations in life, but we have to continue to remember that. Maybe I want to be a basketball player and the person next to me also want to be a professional basketball player. Well, the person next to me may have a, a former basketball player training him, and I may not have that. That doesn't mean that the dream is not unattainable for me. That doesn't mean I have to work my butt off and I have to figure out what I have to do to be better than this person that has been trained by somebody with expertise. It doesn't mean that it's unattainable. It doesn't mean that I can't do it. Just means that I had to figure out what my pace is. I had to figure figure out what the course I'm going to take to get to that same spot that he's more than likely going to get to.